10 candidates, five tasks in five local authorities, and one goal, to win the 2012 Local Government Challenge. January in Birmingham saw the teams bring fresh minds to the council's vital role in fostering an adoption in the city. Anyone can have a child, but not everyone can foster a child. And for the first time, they faced a monthly ordeal of bringing their ideas before the judges. How do you think this is going to achieve your goal? Really relevant because the ideas were terrific. Definitely take on board the feedback that we got um, and just ready for the next challenge. In February, the homeless of Hertfordshire were their subject, targeting new ways to help some of the most disadvantaged back into society. It's now making me think more uh, there are people who need help. You know, the work we could be doing could be making a real difference to, to the people's lives. We decided that actually neither team was particularly fantastic. And they must face some stern words from the judging panel. There are a few cracks beginning to appear. I'm hoping to see more from them next time. In March, it was back to school in Thurrock, bridging the gap between those coming into the jobs market and the opportunities in the Thames Gateway. Right, what I want you to do then is capture the journey then, the journey that you would like to see where it takes you from inexperience to experience. So getting businesses to sponsor a school, you'd be able to use their corporate social responsibility. And it seemed they'd learned their lesson. And that's the best team effort I've seen. They really, really stepped up. April saw the challenge reunited with an old friend. Last year's winner, Paul Knight, hosted in South Cambridgeshire. It isn't about how long you work. It's not even about how hard you work. It's about how smart you work. The teams recruited some of the brightest young local minds to help the council engage more with its public. This app is great because it, is, um, it appeals to the mass market, but particularly young people. And every contestant had to face the ordeal of the local government challenge diary room. Baha, hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, good. I don't like it. <laughs> Day four in the local government challenge. <laughs> the leader of South Cambridgeshire District Council said to me, "Those there are a few chief executives in that group. And last month, Kirklees in Yorkshire was the contest's final destination. The teams helping the council make more of its natural assets. So for at least one day here, all of the staff at Kirklees Council come down here and actually do some work to clear the park. And before they left, ten became the final four. Four young stars of public service who yesterday faced conference and the final ordeal of a judging panel to decide who will win the 2012 Local Government Challenge. To be just a part of that would just be, uh, you know, it'd be a privilege in itself. All in all, it's, it has been fantastic and I can't recommend it enough.